Question 12. The length and the width of a rectangular floor of a room are 10 meters and 7 meters respectively. A rectangular carpet of area 28 meters squared is placed on the floor. The carpet leaves a uniform space of x centimeters with each of the walls of the room form a quadratic equation in x and hence so for x. So let us first sketch this uh, rectangular floor 10 by 7. We sketch it so that is how it is and uh, there is a carpet, a rectangular carpet of area. So carpet, indicate the carpet, the carpet is inside there, that. Is a sketch uh, it leaves uh, this is uniform so this this uh, measurement here it is uniform it's just a sketch that is uniform so the uniform space of x meters with each of the walls so this is uniform it is just a sketch it may not look exactly uniform this is x this is x and this one is x this one is x and also without forgetting even here also that one is x the floor is uh, 10 meters by 7 meters so that means the length of the carpet will take uh, 10 meters then subtract x's two x's from both ends so there are two x's so this will be 10 subtract 2x is x from this side and x from the other side then for the width we have 7 again 7 subtract 2 x's x from both ends and we have the area of this carpet is 28 meters squared so we have the length and the width. Uh, now we need to get value of x. So we can form these. Look at the area of the carpet. If we take 10 minus 2x as the length, multiply by the width, is 7 minus 2x. We'll be able to form the quadratic equation is equals to the area. So let's do that. So area, area is given by, we have the length of the carpet, which is 10 minus 2x. Multiply by the width, which is 7 minus 2x. And we should give 28. So expand the left hand side, expand the left hand side equation. This will be 10, 7 minus 2x minus 2x, 7 minus 2x is equals to 28. This will give uh, 70 minus 20x minus 14x plus 4x squared. Then you can bring 28, the left hand side, get it like that. So this one will simplify to... 4x, we simplify this, 4x squared minus 34x, you collect the like terms, plus 42 is equals to 0. So from there we can divide everything by, we can divide everything by 4, but by 2, everything divided by 2, and this will give 2x squared minus 17x plus 21 is equals to 0. So that is the quadratic equation. Now we need to solve it. To solve this, I'll use the quadratic formula where the value of a will be 2, b will be negative 17, and c will be 21. You just substitute it in the quadratic formula. You know the quadratic formula. You write the quadratic formula here. So x is equals to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is what you're going to use. So we just need to substitute. So x will be given by negative b will be 17 plus or minus. Uh, b squared will be 17 squared. We'll just go directly. b will be negative 17. So b squared substituting there will be 289 minus 4 times a. That is 4 times 2 times c which is 21 that will give 168 then everything divided by 2a 2 times a 2 times 2 to get 4 so x will be 17 plus or minus 289 minus 168 you get 121 divided by 4 and this will give uh, 17 plus or minus 121 will be square root of 121 will be 11 divided by 4 so from now here you can get two answers the first one will be 17 plus 11 divided by 4 and this one will give 28 divided by 4, which will give 7. Or 17, take the negative, minus 11 divided by 4. So x will be, this will be 6 over 4, it will give you 1.5. So you have two solutions. Now which is which? You have this and you have this. Now you're going to ignore 7, because if you try to substitute 10 minus 2x, you'll get 10 minus when x is 7, 
you will get this one as 14 and this will give you negative 4 and since you can't get negative measurement or negative length uh, we ignore that so we go by 1.5 so therefore x is equals to 1.5 so we have answered the question we've formed the quadratic equation and we have solved for x